Hello everybody, my name is Wei Raptor and I welcome you to a new frontline guide. Today we are going to have a look, well you, get, you saw it in the title already, Base B. Base B is, when we just look at it right now, it's one of the easiest maps to capture or do a cap rush. Because you can just YOLO in with free scouts, with PR Pioneer or Engineer, excuse me, it's Engineer in English. Um, yeah, you're good to go. The enemy has to play rather aggressively and when you have some competent teams or people on C, you can do devastating things. I got some good feedback from you guys and from the guys on the German channel, so I try to be more consistent in speed, not go too fast and try to show you more different positions with using the overlay so you actually know where we are because you can see our camera is this simple and our tank is over here, but most of the time we are absent of the tank it's just here that you have something to look at in the background and i can use free cam to move around so as you could see we are in the defending team so i guess it would be best to start with the tank positions for the defenders and as you might see already our tiny little wheelie boy which is probably one of the most toxic tanks in frontline well probably the most toxic is still artillery but because we all know why we are doing some aggressive driving. So why are we doing this? Quite simply, you can see, we got shots into the enemy capture people. And you all know what engineer and um, decapping gives. Exactly, loads of points for our rank. So, <coughs> if you are <coughs> in the defending team and you want to go go for some good old decap points this over here is a fantastic move to do but be aware guys it is a rather aggressive position and may or may not mean that you are going to die because you are playing so aggressively we got lucky enough that we have right here a decent amount of uh, replay value to show you this and you can see we got hit by the is3 luckily he just nailed our wheels but the su 130 pm gives us a 540 roll and again you need to be careful what you are doing right there okay but you could also see from our team we can just yolo in here and try to do our best to defend B. And it's a perfect example. The enemies try to do a cap rush. Sadly for them, only two people, which made it a little bit slow. Plus they had me and our team and I knew what is going on. Please also keep in mind that if you decide to go for this position I just showed you, that people from C and competent people from C will stand over here and do the biggest fap on you imaginable because they can hit you all the time over here. Except if you decide to go for one specific spot, which I can also totally recommend, and the 50TP is actually doing over here, the Bob, Bob Timus Prime, Screw that dude, he's way too lucky. I hated him when I had him in an enemy team. Yes, this position over here, which he is using right now, is absolutely phenomenal. Because, yes, you can get hit by the TDs up there, but you are mostly safe by C. Plus, it is a rather hard shot to do, to actually hit you over here. And you have a decent, good position to shoot into the base. You can see... Basically those guys which are at the m most known positions, which is at the house and yeah, basically at the house, they are fodder for you. You can just shoot at them, get some damage, get some decap points. It's awesome. But again, it's a risky position. It's a, de it's a really, really aggressive position. If you play a light tank, you could think about going up here or maybe go over here, but it's not really recommended. And you can go over here, but please keep in mind, this is very, very aggressive and you might die. The only thing you can do over here is annoy the enemy. That's what you do. You're here trying to annoy the enemies, which are over here as a defender. You can't decap, you cannot decap, but you can maybe delay some repairs, which is by the way, a really dick move to do because I hate that. <laughs> when you play a medium tank, I can say you can go over here or go around here. You can also maybe do an attacking move over here, but you can also go over here as you could see from our team with the T44-100 and the FWs. And you can see we are still getting some more decap points. Um, there we go. Cap is saved. We won. Looks good. 
About those positions over here, please keep in mind that most of the time the enemies are camping behind the house, so you can't hit them. And you need to watch out for the people up there, which may or may not snipe you. I recommend this position because if you play properly and have something like a Carnarvon Action Axe or a Centurion 5-1, a RAAC, you have a perfect cooldown position to shoot into the cap if the enemies are not behind the houses. And you are more or less safe from the campers up there, but we are going to talk about them when we go for the attacking side. So, as a heavy, I already talked about, the tiger position is decent, but a defender would be working better there. The IS-3 <coughs> is also not doing a bad move, but keep in mind, cooldown tanks are preferable over here. Also inferior can put a TS5 over there or a T28 prototype, it works as well. But well, the T28 prototype is more or less a heavy. But please keep in mind, if, if you're trying to do this move over here, which I'm trying to do right here, just going into the cap like this as an um, defender, keep in mind that the enemies are going to have amazing crossfire into you from here they're just like pew 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 and they're going to hit you you can see the ml would be ready the t69 would be ready if the is3 had to yo rush the cap to somehow decap it so keep that in mind it is risky to do b is an attacking map okay or an attacking base attackers have the advantage on this map not like on a or c so the last thing I want to tell you is where to put your spot plane. It's a no-brainer around this area. Maybe if you get lucky, you can also snipe this over here. But most of the time, if the enemies are pushing in and try to cap, I would suggest to go for the cap, especially when they're using smoke screen because smoke screens love to get spotted by spotter planes. And one final thing, um, as a TD, you can camp behind there. But guys, it's not recommended because you're basically useless. <coughs> it's only a good position if you know the enemies have won already and you can do some more shot. Also, please keep in mind the enemies can come from A and from C. Just so you know, depending how the enemies, uh, how the sites are looking. As an end, the attacker, it's a little bit easier in my personal opinion. Because, as already said, we already saw it, sadly for the enemy, it didn't work out. You can do the YOLO rush into the cap and if the enemies are too slow or the defending team, you kill them um, good or you win them good. The cap, again, is very well, ba very well balanced towards your favor. You have to watch out though, people can shoot through here. So don't stand over there. And keep in mind that some people will YOLO you if you are standing over here. I'm pretty sure those people can sing a song. And please, guys, if you see that you have no good TDs up here and way too many enemies here or defenders over here, do not go for the cap rush because you are going to die. You are going to die easily and you are wasting your tank as an attacker. Please keep that in mind. If there's so many defenders there, cap rush is not an option. Maybe go for A. That might be better. Do something on A. Play active, not reactive. So, other than that, I also like to go sometimes over here with a scout, but it is a more or less spotting position and also useful if you want to do some side shots into those people over there. And I can totally recommend this tree bush over here because you can whoom, drive over this tree so it falls over so you have a little bit more foliage and you have a hard cover rock it's rock solid obviously so you have a good time to do things over there <coughs> and may or may not do some damage onto those people which are there please keep in mind though sometimes enemies are over here on the map as right or over here and they're ready to snipe you but it's rare okay also, this is where you want to have you as a TD. There is where I want to see the SU-140 PMs because they are key to shoot the people which are trying to go for the cap from this position over here. You can also go as a TD up here, but it's very risky because you can get shot at from over here as you might saw already. The Scorpion G is up here and he would easily shoot there. 
Speaking about this position up here, I think I forgot it in the defender side. It's a good position, but I don't like it because you can see it's very, very narrow. So yeah, I don't like that position at all. So just to keep that in mind. Sometimes it's a good idea to maybe go over here <coughs> as the attacking team because you can do some pressure from the side to clear up the people which are in a hold down position over here. I also recommend to go as a heavy tank maybe over here to keep up <coughs> some people which are trying to YOLO the cap. You as a heavy, you are not really there to cap. You are more there to defend the cap, but yes, you can go over here with a heavy when you take a route like, oh, why is it red? I want to have it red. Red is cool. Red is so cool. Um, now I just need to, come on. Like this, you, you, can, you, you, you can do that. It, it, it works, but again, I think for B, your key thing is as an attacking heavy is to defend your capping mediums or light tanks even so that they are not getting shot at from here or getting yoloed like this this is key in my opinion yes a medium can also go capture like basically everybody can go capturing just so you don't forget that <clears throat> as a medium tank you can also stand over here hold down is preferred um as a light tank, I also like to do this move. Heavy is maybe a little bit of out of place. A TD can camp behind there, but it's not really recommended. Although I do have to be honest with you guys, I never use the position behind here. But um, yeah, you don't. You have like a pixel shot over here, but yeah, I don't know if it's worth it to camp so far back. So this position, yeah. It's not really that good. As an attacking team, please do not forget, if you have A, you have perfect opportunities to do a move like this and do some butt rapery. No, please don't do that in real life. Um, because you can come in from the side and do some devastating flanking action, especially if you just won A, you can go wee and do some havoc over here and thin out the enemies. Maybe even find a clicker piggy and that is always awesome. If you want to see, however, you can go over the bridge, but please, guys, be careful. The bridge is a death sentence because it is narrow. And I'm talking from um, experience. If you're playing EBRs, chances are that may or may not you are jumping over this slight little hump over here lose control and do the dive into the water and die just to keep that in mind also if you got c you can do some flanking maneuvers as already discussed from here in here and if you want b you can do whatever you want and even try to flank the people to c but about c we are going to look at in the next video but without further ado i hope i was able to explain to you how to more or less properly position yourself on b i didn't talk about positions like here because they're basically useless and they're just very much open field with nothing to do there and yeah let me know in the comment section below what i can do better i hope i was a little bit slower today even though i'm a little bit of under pressure and yes um don't forget to leave a like if you like the video and a sub if you are new to the channel if not leave a dislike and tell me in the comment section what i can do better as feedback this was raging raptor i hope you enjoyed today's installment of frontline guides base b and i'll talk to you all later